Welcome to XAR template tutorial lesson number 37. For this XAR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, this will be part 2 for uploading your website through to the internet using the FTP details. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload your website and I'm going to show you how to uh, do up do an upload that republishes only the change files. So again, that's republishing only the change files. And I'm also going to make a correction to an error uh, that I made in lesson the lesson that was before this one that you're watching right now. And I I said that when you use save as that it would not save. Uh, the document that you save the password within and I, I'll bring up the menu let's go to utilities uh, web properties and then go to the publish tab I said that when you you click on the save password and document and also the save details and current document that if you hit save as for the current document that you had open and gave it a different file name like version 02 that it would not save all these details in there and I apologize for saying that that's actually not correct if you hit save as or you, and you save a new copy after you've made some changes it'll still save all this information in the current that a new document that you created and it also will be, still be available in the version 01 the original one that document that you started with so even if you save it with a different name it still will contain all the details in here and you're in the new document that you save so I do apologize for that so now that we got that cleared out the way, let's go ahead and go over getting your site uploaded. So if you still have all these details entered into your uh, your web properties, which you should if you follow the previous lesson before this one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually upload this website to the internet. And if if you don't have a website to upload to the internet, you know if you want it, you could just draw a few quick shapes, and you can upload. Uh, those quick shapes to your your website just to have something that to show that it actually works so let's go ahead and go to our file menu in the upper left hand corner and let's go to publish website and when you do that it'll bring up a confirmation saying please confirm you want to publish to server ftp.xrtemplate.com username you know subfolder where you want that at and you know in my case it's public HTML so that's where it would go and if you're ready to do so you would hit the publish key left click on that and it'll say before your website can be published you need to export your site to your local disk and that's just referring to your hard drive when it says local disk so don't worry too much about the technical term there therefore the export dialog will now be shown so hit close and then it'll bring up your panel here which is your export panel and it'll say export file in the upper left hand corner here and you're going to basically pick a space on your hard drive to export the HTML files which there was a tutorial about exporting to HTML and we're going to export those HTML files which is known as hypertext markup language and if you haven't watched that tutorial about exporting HTML files versus an XR file you should probably watch that but if you know how to do this let's go ahead and export it to our hard drive. In my case, I'm going to overwrite some files that I already have that exist, and I have my reasons for doing that. You don't have to do that. You can just export it to a new folder on your particular hard drive. Let's go ahead and hit the export key here. And when you left click that, it's going to warn me that you know I've got some files there and that I'm about to overwrite them. And I am going to hit replace because I want to overwrite the old HTML files that I had in that folder because it's an older, it'll be considered an older edition of the website. And we're going to wait for this to go ahead and upload our website. It'll take a moment. And because my computer is a little bit old school, you'll see that he kind of got some blocks and squares here because of it doesn't have quite have the, the power to handle all these tasks but uh, hopefully it'll upload it shortly here so give me one moment and as it's uploading your website in the upper right hand corner you'll see a loading bar and it'll tell you the percentage of which it's completed 
and you'll see the percentage increase as you're uploading and if for some reason you wanted to stop it it could stop the upload by clicking the stop upload button but we don't want to do that so we'll let it finish and once that's finished you can go to your web browser of your choice in this case I'm going to use Firefox and when you open the, that uh, you know web browser up you'll go to your website and if we go to our website which it'll take a moment here and we went to yes I already have it saved in my URL here if we go to xyretemplate.com you'll see that it now has my website uploaded it, and it's going to look exactly how it looked in that document that we were working on with the exception of a few items because I placed some code in there so you know for example you didn't see this photo slider in there and a few other things you might have not seen in there because it's actually programmed in there and not a it's not a part of the Xara software it's actually hand coded into the to the website but nonetheless let's get back to the tutorial and we're going to actually change a part of this website like for example at the bottom here it says what are XR templates and I'm going to actually add onto the statement and I'm going to show you that information added it will only republish the change file so now that we've made an upload to the internet let's go back to the XR software and if we go to that statement I was just telling you about what are XR templates and we add the word for what are XR templates for and I'm going to keep that all in caps actually and then if we go to file again and go to publish website and left click on that and it's going to ask you if you want to current confirm to export I mean to publish I'm sorry to the same place you notice we, it didn't bring up an export panel I should I should mention that we don't have to export once you export once and you open that document you don't have to export again you only export once once you open the document and you publish it so once you once you open the document like we did we open it one time we export it and then we publish and once you go through that process once the second time around like we're doing right now you don't have to export so you get to skip one of those steps you won't have to export you'll just publish your website to the internet because we've already done the export process so if you left click publish it's going to publish that site with only the change that we just made which is typing in the word for after what are XR templates and it may take a minute again for my computer because it's a little bit slower and a little bit older and it's not quite built to handle quite <laughs> these type of processes so I do apologize if it takes a moment for uh, it to publish these things and just bear with me for a moment and just like before you'll have the upload bar up in the upper right hand corner and you'll have the option to stop upload if you wanted to stop it for some reason but we don't want to do that we just want to let it go ahead and upload those changes and it's only uploading the word for because that's the only change that we made to the document and if we go back to uh, the website which I'll do here in one second and you'll see that it still says what are XR templates now that I'm in the web browser but if I refresh it by hitting the refresh icon in, in uh, Firefox you're going to see that those words are changed if I scroll back down and you see now that if I scroll back down to the bottom page just like before it now says what are XR templates for so it, it, updated, it updated those changes it only republished the change files it didn't upload this whole website again it only updated that one change and if I were to go back to XR and I deleted that word the word for and I went to publish again I went to publish website and click on the publish key because we don't have to export again we've already exported once after opening the document so we just have to publish and we'll have to wait again for my slow computer to actually publish the website so bear with me one more time and just like before you'll see the uploading menu bar up in the upper right hand corner with the stop upload option and when it's finished uploading the changes that I just made to the website it will remove that for that comes after the what are exact templates and you'll see that in one moment here so let's go ahead and go back to the, the web browser and if I refresh the page by clicking the refresh icon in 
Firefox. And refresh the page. If I scroll back down, you'll see that now it doesn't say what are XR templates for, it just says what are XR templates. So that's what it means to republish only the change files. It won't change anything else on the web page. It would only change the things that you have physically changed in the program. And the nice thing about it is that if you have the program open and you're editing things and you make a mistake, you can quickly make the changes that you need and just hit publish again and it will update it, you know, probably instantaneously on your computer if you got a newer computer. But in, but in my case it takes a little bit longer because it's an older older PC. But yeah, it's pretty instantaneous in my opinion. It also depends on your internet connection as well, how fast it'll upload the changes, but in general it's pretty quick. It's not a very long long process so that's how you republish only the change files uh, the next thing I want to show you is how to uh, use profiles within XR so let's go ahead and go to utilities and then go to web properties in your menu up in the upper hand hand left corner and when you get here left click on web properties and let's go to publish and you'll see an option in here that says save in profile we're gonna left click on that and when you left click on that it brings up a little menu here that says save in profile and we'll give it a name I'm gonna call mine Ixara underscore template and underscore website and you don't have to make it that long I just decided to make mine really long and once you do that you will left click on OK and it asks you to enter your password again just to, to make sure that you know the password and that you're not someone that's just trying to save this information without permission which I know the FTP password so I'll enter it and then I'll left click OK and it'll save it as a profile and if you look at the profiles at the top of this this web properties menu you'll see that it now says uh, Xar underscore template underscore website so it's now saved as one of your profiles and when you're done you would just hit the apply key and the, at the bottom right hand corner which, like I did and then you'll hit the OK key and you're done so let's go ahead and close this document out I'm going to save it in this case because it's my website and I want to make sure that everything is up to date correctly and we'll wait for it to save that and once we've closed that out we can go ahead and open up a new document I'm going to close this one and discard it and let's open up a blank new document after we save that profile and after we open that new document, if you go to Utilities, Web Properties, again this is up in the upper left hand corner if you didn't see where I went to open this menu. So just go to Utilities, Web Properties, and when you do that, you get the Web Properties menu. I'm going to go to the Publish tab, and if you look in your profiles and you click the drop down menu, you'll see that the XAR underscore template underscore website is still there. If you left click on that, it automatically fills in all the data for you. So now you never have to enter, enter this information again. Even your password is in there. So you won't have to enter your password. You know, it's really nice. That way you don't have to keep entering this stuff in manually. It'll save you a little bit of time. So that's how you use profiles. And especially if you're working with a lot of client websites, it's really nice to have profiles because you can quickly bring up their information. And especially if you forget some of it, you'll have most of it there and you'll just be able to go ahead and you know publish the website once you're done making your edits and the new design so that covers everything for this particular tutorial if you have any questions well I do want to show you one other thing you can delete a profile so maybe you created a profile but for some reason you don't want it you just hit the delete key it'll ask you are you sure you want to delete this profile hit yes and it'll remove that profile so you can delete a profile if you make one by accident but in this case I wouldn't delete it because in most cases you probably didn't create it by accident because this is quite a bit of information to enter in but yeah again that covers everything for this tutorial if you enjoyed it if it helps you understand how to use XR a little bit better give us a thumbs up and feel free to share or embed this video and spread the word about our great tutorials if you think they are and subscribe to our channel so you can stay tuned for any future tutorials that we create and thanks again mm -hmm.